So, the reality is I'm sat here in a full face of hair and makeup, but chilling in my boyfriend's pajamas. So today I'll be doing a video all about my nosy woesy. I'll be inserting some clips also just from the whole experience just so you can get just so you can get just so you can get sort of a gist of how it was and also I'll be answering some questions which you guys have asked me and then yeah let's jump into it. Okay so the first question was and this was probably the most asked question how much did it cost? I understand if you don't want to say the exact amount I don't mind saying. So I paid 3,200 euros for my rhinoplasty so that comes up around just short of two grand which is absolutely ridiculous like the quotes I got quoted over here just short of nine grand like I'm not going to say with who but nine grand really like no it, there's no need to pay nine grand so yeah I got mine for 3,200 the next question is what medication do they give you after surgery? To be honest, this was the main thing I was worried about. I wasn't in any pain when I woke up. The main thing for me was not being able to breathe and like how uncomfortable it was cause I'll insert some photos later on of my face. <sighs> Literally looked like I'd been hit by a bus. But yeah, they only give me paracetamol and they give me anti-swellants. I think you pronounce it bromelain bromelain I think and then they give me some sort of Vaseline just to put inside of my nose just so it can help the the scars heal and the stitches you know be sort of moist <laughs> and yeah that's all they give me really and they give me this squirty thing which you put up your nose and it literally looks like it's gonna blow your brains out but it actually feels quite nice like low-key I live for it. <laughs> like even when I'm off a cold now I'm just going to be using that squirty thing because it feels so nice. It just clears everything out your nose and yeah that's all they give me really. Okay so the doctor I went with was called Dr. Reza Barak Kayan I think you pronounce it but honestly you should check out his work. I'll leave his link down below. He is phenomenal. Like did I say that right? Phenomenal? Phen phen I can't say that word. <laughs> So basically the day of my surgery, I got my surgery done around four o'clock in the afternoon, which was quite late to be honest. So I had my surgery the same morning at nine o'clock and it only lasted around 25 minutes I'd say. And it was really good. So he basically took some photos from the side and the front and then he put them on a computer and then he morphed them. And he was like, would you, how do you want your bridge, your tip, also your nostrils. So he let me design basically how I wanted my nose. So I did have an input. The doctor that I went with, he gives two options, which is natural or cool. So the natural option is he would have just shaved the bump down and then lifted the tip slightly. However, I did go with the cool option and that meant the bridge was shaved down a bit more the tip was lifted and it was more of a curve so not piggy but it's more uplifted and skinnier from the front which is what I wanted because I had quite a big nose to begin with so I just wanted a complete change to be honest like that shit was monstrous and you know not about that life. Another asked question which was asked quite a lot actually can you breathe well? Well Obviously the seven days after surgery I couldn't fucking breathe at all because <laughs> I had two big tampons up my nose that went all the way to the back but let me tell you now if you think popping spots is nice wait until you get tampons p pulled out your nose trust me that shit is a, <laughs> is a new level honestly once he pulled them out he was like tell me if it hurts and I'll stop <laughs> and I was like no just get them out it feels so nice but yeah as soon as he took them out I could breathe 100% fine literally no trouble no swelling no nothing and still now I can breathe 100% fine so yeah that's great <laughs> which doctor did you choose how did you filter out which doctor you wanted to go with and what other surgeons did you have in mind okay so I want I knew that I wanted to go to Turkey 
to get my nose done. Not just because of the price. Turkish doctors, they are used to different genetics opposed to English doctors, so, and I like the style of noses they do. They really do the, not Barbie style, but like a nice cute upturned nose. Like I didn't just want it minor changes. The surgeons I, hi, 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 hi. The surgeons I had in mind was obviously Dr. Resit, which I went with. Then my second option was Mohammed Dilbert. He is also incredible. They were the two that was, you know, really I was juggling with, but I decided to go with Reza and I'm so glad I picked him because he has done an unbelievable job. Right. <laughs> oh no, this is horrendous. I'm going to show you a photo now of what my nose used to look like. Like, I actually can't cope with it. Like, Loki, I want to vom. I didn't know it was that bad. Do you know, because I couldn't see the side of my face. Like, I really didn't know it was that bad until i seen a fucking photo. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to cope. Right, my nose now, both sides. Oh no, I can't, <laughs> I actually can't. Oh, like, can you even cope? That's not me, like that is actually not me. I only have a tiny scar here but you can't even notice it, like, I can't even notice it. The only thing is the whole tip here, completely numb. If I was touching it now, like, I can't feel that at all, which is actually crazy. But all oh, this is fine, like, nothing hurts, nothing sensitive. It's just the tip. So yeah, day one, I had my consultation, then my surgery. So yeah, I was flying, literally flying, not nervous at all. And then they wheeled me down into theatre, had my surgery. And then after it, obviously I was waking up after the anaesthetic. Let me tell you now, I have never felt that rough in my life. Like, honestly, that was like, feels like I'd done a week in Ibiza. I was throwing up everywhere, threw up all over the nurse's arms, couldn't eat any food. And like, I just passed the hell out for like six hours. Day two. I had a bit of puffiness and a bit of redness. I'll insert a photo now. It's annoying because I can't breathe. The snot keeps trickling down and I just want to itch my nose, but I can't. Yesterday I was knocked out, wasn't I? Yeah. From yeah. the anaesthetic, I was literally sick every time I woke up and I was sick over the bed and everything. It was horrible. I could eat. Um, so I've only really had food today. I feel a bit better. The bruising is not as bad as I thought, but it still hurts, and it's mainly down here and on my eyes. Oh, gotta order some pasta now. The only annoying thing was I couldn't really breathe, but yeah, other than that, no pain no nothing it was just a bit tender around my cheeks they were just getting a bit puffy and I literally started to look like a marshmallow like no joke day three and my rhinoplasty <sighs> that's when it started to go downhill like the people in the hotel were really nice because they were used to it they were like used to people having surgery and hair transplants and whatnot so everyone was so kind there but <sighs> I looked atrocious. I'll insert a photo now. Sometimes when I swallow it, um, it blocks me through and also my, t my teeth really hurt. It's not fun. Really not fun. I just can't wait for the week to be over until I can get this cast off and I can finally breathe and have a de decent sleep. It's, it's cracking me up. I just want to get out and explore and obviously I can't, I'm just stuck in a hotel room, it's a, it's a nightmare but, you know, beauty is paid. But yeah, I'm so happy with it already, it's so cute. It just feels like I've got an extremely bad cold and it's just not going and especially got swelling here. So yeah. 
that's when I started to look like an actual marshmallow. Day four, that's when shit got real. My face was out here. It literally looked like I'd been battered by about 10 men, but like, which was weird. I didn't have any pain, literally none at all. I didn't even take any painkillers for the whole week. I didn't need it. It wasn't pain in my nose. It was more from the tube that they put down your jaw in surgery. Like that is some dry mouth, but yeah, no pain on day four but my face was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, literally like a basketball. Moving on to day five. All I had to do was clean my nose every three hours with the spray and then also with the, the cream. And then yeah, that was it really. My nose would not stop running like that shit was running for dear life. Literally laying back and all this goo was coming down my face. And do you know when it dries up and just crusts up? Oh, Literally the most annoying thing ever. Day six and seven, my face started to go down, like basically back to normal apart from the lower parts of my cheeks, which literally made me look like a bloodhound. Like everything looked normal, but it looked weird in a way. Like it looked like me, but, but not, if you get what I mean. Day eight was when I got the tampons removed. So we went to his clinic, which was actually the prettiest thing I've ever been in my life. He took the tampons out. And as I said earlier, oh, literally the nicest feeling in the world. And if I could have it done again, I would. So yeah, I'll just zoom you in closer now, just so I can show you what it looks like from each side. Oh, got an itch. This is it from the side. And then also from this side from the bottom which is a very attractive angle Antonia and then also here I've got a lot of swelling here as you can see but that should just go down over time and yeah I'm absolutely buzzing like I could not be happier literally if anyone has any more questions I do have a account just dedicated to my nose <laughs> that sounds so conceited but yeah I do have an account just dedicated to my nose just in case anyone wants any details or you know just advice or pictures for example oh wait you can't see for example am I okay for example what the hell is that that's the type of shit you'll see on there but yeah, I've got an account anyway. It's called Rhinoplasty with Resi. I'll link it down below in the description bar. But yeah, and you can just DM me whenever you want and I'll answer. <laughs> and I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.